When it comes to revisiting the cherished episodes from our childhoods, few animated series offer as delightful a romp through nostalgia as Rocco's modern life. The episode, Sugar Frosted Frights, which aired as part of the show's celebration of Halloween, exemplifies the series' quirky charm. Of dark and foreboding shadows that will chill you to the bone. Ow! The episode masterfully combines humor, horror, and heart, blending the joyous innocence of trick-or-treating with the dark legends surrounding the hopping Hessian. This spectral one-legged mercenary, reminiscent of Washington Irving's The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, sets the eerie mood as our favorite characters, Rocco, Heifer, and Filbert, navigate the complexities of Halloween night. <laughs> What makes Sugar Frosted Frights especially endearing is its portrayal of Filbert's deeply rooted candy phobia, instilled by his crazy Aunt Gretchen. His first taste of candy spirals him into a delightful frenzy, beautifully capturing the childlike pleasure of indulgence and leading to a series of events that place our trio deep in the path of the ominous Hesse. Filbert? We can see you, Filbert! Over there, look. The animation stays true to the unique style of Rocco's modern life, bold, colorful, and often surreal. Filbert's candy-induced hallucinations are a visual treat as well, with a nod to the Night on Bald Mountain sequence from Fantasia, brilliantly interspersed with moments of genuine tension and hilarity. Come back! Musically, the episode stands out too, and it creates an ambiance that seamlessly ties the playful and the eerie elements together, enhancing the overall experience for the viewer. Now, Philbert, it's very easy. Stay back and watch how we do it. You ring the bell, and free goodies! Trick, Trick or, or treat. treat! Well, aren't we scary? Wait a minute. You've been here already. What? No, I haven't. Oh, yes, you have. One of the episode's strengths is its ability to showcase the dynamics between the primary characters. Rocco and Heifer's innocent enthusiasm contrasts with Filbert's initial trepidation, painting a full spectrum of Halloween experiences. The introduction of the hopping Hessian and his quirky sidekick, Gordon, adds depth to the narrative, culminating in a twist that is both humorous and unexpected. <laughs> I'm sorry, Aunt Gretchen. I'm sorry. Boo hoo! Sugar Frosted Frights is rife with references that seasoned viewers will appreciate. The aforementioned parody of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and A Christmas Carol are brilliantly executed, adding layers of meaning for those familiar with the literary works. Moreover, the nod to Frosted Flakes and the shared music with the adventures of Pete and Pete adds to the episode's charm. What a beautiful evening. Boy, oh boy, yes you, the smart one. Could you tell me, young man, what night this is? It's Halloween for Pete's sake. Halloween night. While Sugar Frosted Frights may not rank among the most iconic Halloween specials or Halloween episodes, it is a television classic in its own right. It encapsulates the whimsy, fear, and camaraderie associated with Halloween, delivering a story that is both entertaining and nostalgic. For those of us who grew up with Rocco, Heifer, and Filbert, this episode is a delightful trip down memory lane. For newcomers, it's an introduction to the offbeat world of O-Town and its eccentric inhabitants. Either way, it is a Halloween treat that should not be missed. With all that said, Rocco's Modern Life's Halloween episode, Sugar Frosted Frights, is... Satisfyingly spooky. Yeah.